Good morning from the Boston Marathon. This area is called Far Rockaway. The Sandy Hook Elementary School. For everyone who lives in Weimar. Outside Arrowhead Stadium in Burbank, California. Of course, one of the big highlights here at Democracy Plaza is the giant map on the ice skating rink. We're just outside Universal City, just hours away from day one. We made it to this ranch by airboat. It's about the only way in and out of Southern Plaquemines Parish. Most people give you full freedom to do what you want. You hardly ever do the same thing twice. Armed with his tattoo gun, Dustin Vick is looking to make a mark on breast cancer. Makes you feel good. Dustin, who opened up his shop Asylum a little over a month ago, has decided to launch his first ever community effort, a benefit to help raise money for breast cancer research. Peter Muckle walked his little girl to school this morning. Eight-year-old Shannon was anxious about going back. She was afraid. You know, and just told her, say, you know, nothing's going to happen to her. But he admitted it's hard for him not to worry about her safety at school. Yeah, it's harder. I mean, it's harder. What am I going to say? It's harder. You know, we're just all just, the, the heartbreak is just unbelievable. I mean, it's just unbelievable. So, yeah, it's harder. About 4,000 students returned to Newtown's six schools this morning. Police were on every campus to provide security and calm nerves. At the town's one high school, Rosemary Frisco, was nervous about her student. I always be a worry, but now it's, it's very, very bad. Grief counselors were assigned to help parents and students work through their fears and their grief. My neighbor up the street, uh, she, uh, her kid didn't come back. Sophomore Mike Steele says he feels more secure today than ever with a heavy police presence, but the memories of what happened are still raw. There is prime seating at mile marker 20 of the Boston Marathon. Mariah Van Groff used to live in Texas. Now she lives along the race route in Newton, just six miles from the finish. I think that people um, needed to have this happen again and just kind of a do-over and say, you know, this is our city, this is our, our place, and we're not going to go away, and we're just going to come back and do what we always do on this day and enjoy it and have so much fun, and that's what we're doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, clap, one. Choreographing an entire cheer routine for a group of six-year-olds is nothing compared to the planning that went into this rehearsal slash reunion. Clap, one, two, set, three, four, dip, five. Paige Mares is the spunky girl at the top of this pyramid, but mom says she's been down lately, missing her dad. Gabby, I'm 830 today. It's a trend taking off around the country. People paying it backward at the drive through window. When you pull up to pay, you quickly discover the car in front of you already took care of your bill. Thursday was a photo shoot inside a historic Nashville mansion. It's another aspect of Danielle's new life, her new reality. Now I get to, to feel what it's really like, and it's fun, but it's can get overwhelming, but I mean, I'm ready for whatever gets thrown in front of me. It's not my first rodeo, but literally this is my first rodeo, yeah. Jimmy uh, Fallon now understands why they say everything is bigger in Texas. This is a giant ordeal. Do you know how big it is? Like this, I, this is a stadium, this is crazy. Fallon has been making people laugh for more than a decade on NBC. First on Saturday Night Live, and now as the host of Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. In town for a few days, he's making people laugh right here in Houston and taking time to meet some fans. Local too, man. I got to give props uh, to, to the people here in Houston. I, I love it. Thank you for watching me. Fallon compared the fans in Houston to the fans in New York, where he lives and works. You know, in New York, you see New Yorkers all the time. It's like, hey, Jimmy, funny show. I like that bit you did. It was good. You know, or the, you know and then uh, you, here is just a totally different. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, you do that thing, oh, I saw it the other night. I'm like, so nice, I want to hug everybody. And he says he's also enjoying the food while he's here. Deep fried everything, chicken fried everything, chicken fried chicken, what? Does that even make any sense? Yes, that does. <laughs> Fallon says cracking a joke like that and making people laugh is the best part of his job. He hopes to be doing it for a long time. If you make someone smile, it's like such a rewarding thing and that I get to do every day and it's, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I'm looking for Paige. But leave it to Santa to make the impossible possible. You see my tinsel? 
I need you to grab that and kind of pull it in. Delivering a present, he said he had waiting on the other end of this strand of garland. I thought I wouldn't cry, but my daughter still got me. Uh... Army Sergeant Brian Mayers found out less than two weeks ago he was coming home. Spend up. Somehow, this Great Dane survived 48 hours in these floodwaters by clinging to a pile of floating debris. There we go. I got you. I got you. Exhausted but alive, Lane desperately needed some water. He belongs to Kai Wynn. Both brothers say the waters came in so fast they couldn't save anything. 